Okay, today we're going to talk about 8EE1. That is 8th uh, grade expressions and equations uh, part 1, and this is uh, going to be video 1. I have a second video that is uh, upcoming. Um, today in this one we're only going to be talking about um, positive exponents and in video two we're going to introduce uh, negative exponents and the exponent of zero. Here are a couple of terms I'd like you to know. They're going to repeat themselves in the next video. Uh, they're very important words that deal with powers and exponents so please pause the video and write them down in your journal. All right, the first thing we're going to do is talk about the product of powers property. Uh, there's a, a lot of letters on here. I'll, I'll explain with the next problem what they all mean. It says A raised to the M power multiplied. This is a product, so we're multiplying times A to the N power. And that is going to equal the base of A raised to the M plus N power. Oh, that's confusing. So uh, let's clear that up a little bit. It, it looks like A is pretty common across the board here. That is called the base number. It's the large number that we're looking at, um, and they're all common. So since the A here is being multiplied by a, the same common base A, uh, the property allows us to take the exponents m and n, whatever they may be, and just add them up together. So let's write a different expression using that uh, property. Okay, taken right from the standard up here, it says apply the properties of integer exponents to generate equivalent or the same uh, numerical expression. So we're basically going to take this expression that's on the board. It's an expression because it's not answered yet. It's not an equation yet. And we're just going to rewrite it. So it says 5 to the second power multiplied by 5. And there's nothing there. So we have to assume that that is a 1. This is uh, 5 to the first power. And by rule, since the five bases are the same, we are going to set it as base 5 raised to the 2 plus 1. There we added our exponents because, again, the bases were the same when we multiplied. So to rewrite that one more time, this is going to simplify to 5 raised to the third power. Now let me explain a little bit why that happened here. If we were to just think about 5 to the second power and what that means, I can branch that off as being 5 multiplied by 5. And then we bring down this product dot, make it nice and big for you. And we branch this 5 to the first power as just a plain old 5. Well, looking straight across, we had 5 times 5 times 5 which we know that is 5 cubed, or 5 to the third power. That's where the adding the exponent comes in, because you can see 1, 2, 3 of the same basis. OK, now they put a coefficient in front of our x's. Um, notice here that the 2 and the 5 are different. So uh, since there's a multiplication sign here, we're allowed to just multiply those two coefficients as 2 multiplied by 5 to get 10. So we still do our regular multiplication. And then I see that we have x to the 7th multiplied by the same base again, x to the 2nd. And we know that that is then going to be x to the 7 plus 2. So if we were to simplify that to uh, its final look, we're going to have 10x to the ninth power. And I'm going to write that out, even though it's kind of uh, tedious to write all this out. I'm going to show you what it actually means. It says 2 times x, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. Let me double 
double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, multiplied by that big product dot, five times x and a second x. So written all the way out here, I can see that these, the 2 and the 5 can be multiplied as I did up top. And then let's count how many total x's we have in our product line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that is where the 9 comes from in this final answer of 10x to the 9th power. All right, just to finish that off there. Next, we have the quotient of powers property. Now, quotient means division. And we've talked about this earlier in the year, that this fraction bar right here means we're going to divide. Now, division is opposite of multiplication. So it looks like when our bases are the same here, we can read our property as a to the m subtracted by n. So in the last property, let's just go back to the product. It says, let's go back one more screen. It says when I have the base a to the m multiplied, multiplying we're going to add our exponents. So if we do the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing, it looks like we're going to do the opposite of adding, which is subtracting. Okay, let's see how that looks. It says 3 to the 5th power divided by 3 squared, or 3 to the 2nd power. It's very important to note that the 3, we have the same bases again. Our 3s are the same. So as another expression in the top, let's use a different color here again. It's going to be 3 to the 5th written out as 3 five times, and then in the bottom, 3 squared, which would be 2 times. Okay, And then by rule in the property, it says, well, if the bases are the same, we're going to keep the base, and then we're going to subtract our exponents. So if I have five of them and I'm to subtract them, it looks like I'm going to have 3 to the third power as a final answer. And let me just show you the reasoning behind that. If we were to do our basic canceling in fractions, and I have my 5 in the top and my 2 in the bottom, by basic cancellation, I can knock out a 3 in the top and a 3 in the bottom. And how many are we left with? We're left with 1, 2, 3, which is why it is 3 to the third power, because we're left with three of these products in the uh, numerator. All right, let's put it all together. We have uh, actually uh, a product in the numerator, and we also have a fraction bar. So just as we did before, let's look at our coefficients. Our coefficients are 2 and 36. Those bases are not the same, so we're just going to multiply straight across in the top. So 2 multiplied by 36 is 72. W to the eighth multiplied by W to the 6. Now remember, we're multiplying, and these bases are the same. These W's are the same. So what do we do when we multiply and the bases are the same? We are going to add those exponents across. So we have W to the 8 plus 6, which is 14. And we're going to divide that by, on the bottom, there's no work to really be done yet on the bottom because it's just kind of standing there by itself. 18W to the 4th. All right. Now let's clean that up a little bit. I'll deal with the, the coefficients last. I see here again that we have common w's in the top and the bottom. However, we're dividing them now. Here's our little division sign. 
So we're going to have 72 over 18. And there are going to be, uh, we're subtracting them now because we're, we're dividing the common basis. So 14 take away 4 would be equal to W to the, that leaves 10. 14 minus 4 is 10. All right, now we need to simplify this. 72 and 18, they're both even numbers. So let's just go real slow with this. I know that they're both even. Um, I, I could use two, you know, two goes into both of them. Can we go a little bit bigger here? Uh, do you think nine goes into both of them? I know that nine goes into 18, that's pretty easy. And what, what goes into uh, 72, nine, how many times? Was that eight? So let's reduce this to nine goes into 72, eight times, and nine goes into 18, two times. And we still have our W to the 10th power. All right, so we went real simple there. And uh, we're staring at it once again. And I see that we have an 8 and a 2. Well, we know that 8 divided by 2 can be simplified to 4. 8 divided by 2 is 4. W to the 10th. And that is going to finish off our problem. I think it finishes off our day. So in your journal, I'd like you to define the given terms um, from page two of this flip chart, which is pretty consistent with what we've been doing on our videos. And then write a few sentences on what you learned from this video. And understand that video two for this same standard is coming. Uh, I, I will be making that uh, shortly for you. And uh, you will be looking at not positive exponents anymore, but you'll be looking at it mixed in with negative exponents, and I'll show you uh, what the zero exponent looks like also.